The Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD program is an initiative by the United States Air Force USAF to develop sixth-generation air systems with the goal of creating a family of systems to replace the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. The main component of this program is a manned fighter aircraft referred to as the Penetrating Counter Air PCA, which will operate alongside Unmanned Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA, also known as Loyal Wingman Platforms. Through a manned-unmanned teaming MUMT approach, the manned and unmanned aircraft will work in an integrated manner to enhance operational capabilities. The NGAD concept originated from the Air Dominance Initiative study conducted by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA in 2014. This new aircraft is projected to become operational in the 2030s. Initially envisioned as a joint program between the Air Force and Navy, the two military branches eventually chose to develop separate projects. Although both programs share the same name, the USAF's NGAD and the Navy's NGAD differ significantly. The Navy is developing its own program called FAXX, which is also scheduled to be implemented within a similar time frame to the Air Force's NGAD. After completing the Air Dominance Initiative study in March 2014, DARPA provided recommendations to the U.S. Department of Defense, which subsequently launched a new initiative called the Aerospace Innovation Initiative AIE in 2015. This initiative aimed to develop experimental aircraft prototypes, or X-planes, to test technologies relevant to future fighter aircraft. In 2016, the USAF expanded these efforts through the Air Superiority 2030 as 2030 flight plan. This plan emphasized the need to develop integrated air systems, initially focusing on the penetrating counter air PCA platform. By 2018, the AS-2030 concept evolved into NGAD, broadening its scope from a single platform to a suite of capabilities envisioned as a family of systems. The primary goal of the NGAD program is to create advanced technologies that provide air dominance for the USF. These technologies span multiple areas, including advanced propulsion systems, stealth technology, modern weaponry, digital design using computer-aided design CAD tools, and thermal management to reduce the aircraft's heat signature. A notable feature of the program is its new acquisition approach, which separates design, production and support functions during the development process. With a budget of $9 billion allocated through 2025, NGAD incorporates more frequent industry competitions and in-depth simulations in the design and manufacturing stages. Overall, the NGAD program aims not only to replace the F-22 Raptor but also to introduce a new approach to developing military air systems that prioritize flexibility, adaptability, and efficiency. The Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD program has expanded its focus from a single platform to a family of systems at its core is a crewed fighter aircraft, supported by various complementary systems, including manned, unmanned, optionally manned, cyber, and electronic components. These supporting elements are expected to include Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA, which can carry additional munitions and perform auxiliary missions. A key objective of NGAD is to address operational challenges in the Indo-Pacific theater, where current USAF fighters face limitations in range and payload. USAF leadership has indicated the possibility of two NGAD variants, one with extended range and payload tailored for the Indo-Pacific and another designed for shorter range engagements in Europe. The crewed fighter is expected to utilize adaptive cycle engines developed under the Adaptive Engine Transition Program AETP, and Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion NGAP program, with flight-ready engines anticipated by 2025. 
Initially, the crude fighter element of NGAD was envisioned to follow a rapid development and procurement approach inspired by the Century Series fighters of the 1950s and 1960s, referred to as the Digital Century Series. By Assistant Secretary of the Air Force Will Roper, this concept aimed for continuous iteration of fighter designs, enabling the rapid integration of new technologies and production in smaller batches. However, by May 2021, USAF Chief of Staff General Charles Q. Brown Jr. announced that NGAD would begin replacing the F-22 once sufficient units are operational, targeting deployment in the 2030s. While the F-22 has been utilized to test NGAD technologies, some of which may enhance the F-22 itself, the complexity of modern aircraft design ultimately led to the abandonment of the Digital Century Series approach in favor of a more traditional development and procurement strategy. By June 2022, the USAF determined that critical technologies were mature enough to proceed to the engineering and manufacturing development EMD phase of NGAD. According to Will Roper, the program had achieved significant milestones, including the first flight of a full-scale technology demonstrator prototype in 2020 under the Aerospace Innovation Initiative AIX plane program. By 2023, three distinct prototypes had conducted test flights. A formal solicitation for the program was announced in May 2023, with source selection planned for 2024. On 27 July 2023, Northrop Grumman CEO and President Kathy Warden confirmed that the company had informed the USA FIT would not bid as a prime contractor for the NGAD program. This decision left Boeing and Lockheed Martin as the two likely competitors for the primary crude fighter component of the initiative. In July 2024, as reported by Breaking Defense, Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall announced a temporary pause on the crude component of the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD program. He stated, with the platform itself, we're taking a pause. With the rest of the elements of the air dominance family of systems, we're moving forward as fast as we can. Despite the pause, Kendall emphasized confidence that the Air Force would still proceed with the development of a sixth generation crewed aircraft. The decision has raised concerns among Air Force veterans and industry experts about the implications for operational effectiveness. Some argue that the B-21 Raider bomber might struggle to penetrate advanced integrated air defense systems IADs without support from a crewed 6th generation NGAD fighter. On the Mitchell Institute's Aerospace Advantage podcast episode 196 What's Up with NGAD, John J.V. Venable, an Air Force veteran and senior resident fellow at the Mitchell Institute, stressed the risks of this approach. He stated, this idea that you don't need someone going in and sweeping out the threat in front of a B-21 is absolutely catastrophic. On September 4, 2024, Air Force Vice Chief of Staff General James Slife reiterated the decision to pause the crude penetrating counter air PCA component of the NGAD program, according to the War Zone. Slife noted that the Air Force was reassessing its requirements, saying, I know what the mission that we have to get done is, but I don't know that we need to build an airplane to do the mission. His comments underscored NGAD's status as a system of systems rather than a single crewed fighter platform. In the FY2023 budget request, the Air Force allocated $1.66 billion to the NGAD program with additional funding of $11.7 billion planned between FY2024 and FY2027. Although Secretary Kendall did not disclose the cost per aircraft, each is expected to cost several hundred million dollars. The Air Force has provisionally estimated a requirement for approximately 200 manned NGAD fighters. 
though this figure is considered a rough planning assumption rather than a definitive target. In 2023, SMG Consulting released an infographic based on Lockheed Martin's conceptual designs, illustrating potential dimensions, costs, and combat radius for the NGAD fighter. On July 30, 2024, Secretary Kendall temporarily halted the NGAD design process to allow for further study of design options ahead of source selection. This decision highlights the program's commitment to refining its approach before advancing to the next development phase.